cultural context, right? Could change everything. Look at all this R. Kelly stuff. All this information was out there in the past, right? There was the Aaliyah thing, there was the tapes, and everyone just kind of looked the other way, right? But now the culture has reached a breaking point. Now that there is a bingeable six-hour documentary, <laughs> culture's like, hey, it's one thing for all this information to be out there in a 20-page long read, but now that it's been packaged in an entertaining fashion, no more! <laughs> I watched it. Intense. Just out of curiosity, you guys, clap if you're done with R. Kelly. Clap if you're done with R. Kelly. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it's a very compelling piece. A lot of people putting out statements and stuff now, people that used to work with them, people like Lady Gaga, Chance the Rapper. You know who I haven't seen a statement from? This guy right here, nothing from you, sir. <laughs> sir, what's your name up here? Dan. Dan, what's your last name? Greenblatt. Dan Greenblatt. I've seen nothing from Dan Greenblatt. But why would I, Dan? There's no documentation of your R. Kelly patronage, right? You're very lucky in that regard. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? What if you're watching that documentary, right? And they're like, oh, and then the tape comes out. At this point, you gotta know, something's not right. But people didn't care. Here's footage of Dan Greenblatt just one week after the tape was released. It's a remix ignition, I got the fresh out the kitchen, I got the rolling down. Here's footage of Dan just two weeks later, driving to work. I'm sipping on coke and rum, I'm like so when I'm drunk, it's a real, You're lucky they don't have that footage, Dan. You know you got down to those tunes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so awful? What if they had footage of you from like eight, 10 years ago? Maybe, uh, you know, talking about going to an R. Kelly concert, talking about how you had a great time and how it was so silly. Wouldn't that be awful? You know, they do have footage up like that. Me! <laughs> yeah, it's the end of my first stand-up special. I put it on myself. This whole bit at the end of my first stand up special. Where I'm like, I went to an R. Kelly concert. It was crazy. I don't do the shit now, but it's still out there. And I'm watching this documentary. I'm terrified. I'm like, man, they better not pull up them clips. I've had a tricky year as it is.